everyone. My name is Sarah. I'm the owner and operator of Little Angel Spa and Boarding. We are at 297 Main Street, Meltdown, Newfoundland, right straight across from the Fresh Mart, by the way. And my phone number is 882-2419. Now, and when you come to Little Angel Spa and Boarding and bring your little pet, we treat them like kings and queens. We bath them, we do all the necessary that you need. We also have our daycare and we also have boarding for every length that you want. We take them out for walks, they have a place to play, and it's a joy to make their trip an enjoyable one. That we have three people on staff at all times to take care, and there's always somebody on the lot 24 seven to take care of your little baby. but I don't go much into anything else. I don't go into food because I just don't know, you know, if it would sell. But anyway, I don't, don't need to go into that. And over here is my little, my little cat. She's, uh, her name is Iway. She was found on the highway, by the way. My friend was on her way home from Grand Falls and she saw two shiny things in the light and this was her. They opened the door and she popped in. She's like, I'm not staying out there no more, do go. So I brought her home, then we took her over, got her all checked out. And the only thing that was wrong with her, she's diabetic. So I kind of figured that, bring her back here and, and make sure that she was taken care of, because not everybody wants to take care of a diabetic cat. So what we do is we save up our loonies and toonies for her. And when she gets low, she goes to the vet and we get their prescription for her needles. She has two a day and it's on insulin now for the rest of her life. She's only seven years old, but I think she had a rough life. First she had a good life, but then she was just out on the highway, probably ran away or something. But now, she's spoiled. <laughs> now she's my spoiled kid. Okay, this is Pick Me Up. Like I said, we have Pick Me Up on the highway. We have two cats. One picked me up, one I whack. Now, she is not the friendliest cat in the world, but she's disappeared, so that's all you'll get of her. That's it. She's gone. <laughs> okay. So this is Ronan. He's going to get his face trimmed today because he's already had a shave down there, and he's my mascot for today. <laughs> so normally, if we was going to do complete everything on roll today, we would do his face, of course, his feet, his belly, and his bum. And that had to be done, and his nails, before he's put into the bathtub. Then when he's taken out, he's blown dry, because he's bathed, and then he's got condition, get the condition onto him. And then when he's get out and he's, he's getting dried up, we use this blower onto him, because it's, a, it's nice, because he doesn't like blow on his face. So this will help me while I'm getting him groomed, so that way the force of the dryer is not in his face, right? Roman, Roman's getting sleepy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to trim Roman's face. He's my little boy today. And sometimes they're not very happy. But this is what this is for, their chin. Mm -hmm. We always, because we don't. And it's okay. And sometimes they give you kisses. Right, Roman? Yeah, that's right. Kisses? Oh no, he's my little kissing boy. Yes, he is. See, he doesn't like getting his face done. But, no matter what, he has to get his face done. So there we go, Roland. We gotta get this two out of your high there. That a boy. Good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, the girl's gonna love you tonight. Yes, there. Oh, Roland's such a good boy. Good boy. And you always do as the customer requests. And this one is, she just wants it taken out around his eyes. So that's what we do. And we clean it up in here. And when we get them all done, as we usually try to get them all pretty up to go home. Roman's got such a big nick here. Usually my bandanas are done up as to fit on the collar. 
but as you can see, this one isn't. But at least he gets a bandana to wear home and it's got our flag onto it. Perfect. So over here is where I keep my supplies for, we have neckties, neckties for the boy dogs. And we have all different colors. And this one is, goes to a special one because it's a music note. So I have a special customer that I give this one to all the time because he plays in a band. And then we have our new little ones for the girls. Puts their hair up in ponies and little taps on their head and everything else. So this is where we keep our supplies and I never run out. I get all the time this is filled up. And anytime they need something, it's right here. And we'd like to keep it nice, neat, and tidy. Now, the way this was a tool box, but it's okay. <laughs> and every dog that's done, it goes on with something. And if I can't get a tie on there, if I can't get a bow tie or a tie, I always give them something. Something has to go home with the dog. Well, okay. you're bringing a puppy that has never been groomed before. We don't even know if we're going to get anything done with them, so your free visit, it's a free visit. And uh, our prices start at $20, that's for small ones, 20 plus the GST, right? And then we go up to 25 my highest price here is $40, and that's for your extra large dog. So we have 20 25 30 and 40 I support the SPCA. I have taken many animals over to the SPCA and I found they found homes but I have always been very strict in saying that I need to know where the dogs are going and at Christmas time I put out the boxes which we collect which is wonderful the people here support me in every way then I take over a big like a, a vehicle full of uh, food and cleaners you name it it goes over about two or three thousand dollars worth stuff we collect and I take it over to the SBCA and I mean every store, every store in the bay and hydro, everybody jumps in. Lion's Club, everybody. I go around and, and collect. All right, this is where the boarding and daycare. And my husband was going to do it with camera show. These are all the animals. We can equip 25 animals here because we use this space and we use every space we have when we, because sometimes we have that. Each one got a kennel. Nobody, nobody, no two dogs are in a kennel together. And we have pictures up here. This is my little Sasha up here. She's not little no more. She's a big girl now. And this one here was another rescue. But she's home with the Sutton family and she's treated like a baby. They done something. They got her treated like a baby. And so this is where the dogs are fed. The kennels have to be clean. I have very strict instructions on everything. Okay, we have this here, which is the, we have air conditioning, which will be, we brought up for the winter. Summer, the air conditioning, we have two over here because you see dogs need that fresh air. Uskies, for goodness sake, they cannot be out in the hot weather. And so we have two, two air conditioners going all the time in here, which circulates the heat. And the water bowls right there. We have, we have water for them. And as we have seen, we have water bowls outside when they're outside because they still need water out there. And we won't miss a phone call because we always have our phones everywhere. And every dog is fed separately. Every dog is fed separately. As you can see, all the bowls. No dogs because it's very dangerous. Now this is a walk-in spa. So we can almost back a horse in there if we wanted to, although we haven't got anyone to come on yet. But anyway, big dogs, they don't have to be lifted to get in. It's good for the back too. They don't have to be lifted to get in the back top. This is what I worked with when I was in Alberta. I got the pattern from there actually. And so when we have small dogs, we back them in this. Because this we can take out when we have a big dog. And we have hooks on here. So we just take them in, hook them on, and give them a nice bath. They don't have to be 
crammed up. They just get in there and get their scrub down and we dry them off and then we take the color and we dry them half in there. But this is the this is just my baby, this one, because I just love that thing. And then for the small ones, just put that back in, take the small one, put it in there. So it works beautiful. Don't think I'm gonna take baby on her in there. <laughs> He's my, he's my thing. I think I'm ever written that one. Did anyone know what we're doing? Oh, that's what he likes. That's what he likes. Oh, boy. That's what he put for that way. <laughs> oh, Rexy Poo. <laughs> oh, Rexy Poo. How about the original? Rexy Poo. 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 And uh, he came over, sniffed his, uh, his baby, and...